means k mean to make groups of data points to make groups of data points let us let us take some example these are the data points for example 2 5 6 8 12 15 let us take 18 uh, 28 30 suppose we want to may we want to divide these points into three clusters so in this case the value of k is equal to 3 this is the number of clusters the first step is to select cluster centers from these data points the criteria how do we select we should select these clusters such that these centers are farthest apart from each other so let us take this point as first cluster center this point as second cluster center this point as third cluster center now we have to consider all the data points and see the point is closest to which cluster if for example if we select this 5 if we consider this 5 so we can see that the 5 is closest to c1 so we assign this 5 level of c1 similarly consider this point 6 this is also closer to c1 so assign level c1 to this point now consider this 8 this this point is the distance of this point from 2 is 6 and distance of this point from 12 is 4 obviously this point will be assigned level of this class center similarly this 15 will also be assigned c2 18 will also be assigned c2 28 will be assigned c3 we are how we are assigning these levels we are considering every point we are calculating distance of every point from each cluster center and we are assigning level of the cluster center which is closest to it it is clear i think now the second step is to find mean of the clusters these are the member of c1 these data points are member of c2 these data points are member of c3 so the mean of this cluster c1 is 4.3 the mean of this cluster center sorry the mean of this cluster is 13.25 the mean of c3 is 29 these are the mean that we have calculated these means are considered new cluster centers for each of the cluster the next step this is the iterative process again we have to consider all data point calculate the distance of all data point from each of the cluster center and assign all data point the level of the cluster center which is closest to that data point so in this case the assignment of some data point will be changed for example if we consider this 8 and 8 previously this point was closest to c2 that's why we have assigned level c2 to this point but now with these new values of cluster centers we can see that the distance of this point is least from c1 so the level of this point will be changed to c1 this will not be a member of because the distance because the distance of this point is 3.7 from c1 and from this point is 5.2 so obviously previously it was the member of c2 but now this point will be assigned level of c1 now the member of c1 are 2 5 6 8 we will do this process for all the data points after reassignment of cluster levels to each data point we again have to calculate mean iteration the cluster centers of each cluster may be shifted towards right or towards left so this will again change the membership of different data points again we have to consider or reassign the level of cluster center we will repeat the same process till we observe shifting in the cluster center let us take another example with two dimensional data 
Suppose these are data points. And we have to divide these data points into three clusters. Let us consider that this is the class center C1, C2, C3. Now we will consider all the data points and assign each data point level of one of the cluster. For example, this point is closest to this. So we assign level C1 to this point. This point is closest to C1. So we assign C1 level to this point. So all the points will be assigned, for example, a level. Either C1 or C either C1, C2 or C3. After this assignment, we have to calculate the cluster center again by taking mean of all data points belonging to same cluster. Each data point, uh, when we calculate mean of each cluster, this the cluster center of each cluster may shift in any direction. The shifting will change the membership of some classes. So after shift, suppose this cluster center has shifted here because the membership of data points are changing the cluster center that is mean of each cluster is also changing so this process will be repeated until we observe the shifting of cluster center so we can define the steps now the number of clusters must be the number of clusters the number of clusters must be known previously must be known to be k to be k choose a set of k clusters now the second step is to select k number of cluster centers k number of cluster centers such that they are they are farthest apart from each other Consider each data point and assign it to the cluster which is closest. Consider each data point and assign and assign it to the cluster which is closest now recalculate cluster center recalculate recalculate cluster centers sorry cluster centers by finding mean of data points belonging to the same classes belonging to the same clusters now we will repeat step 3 and 4 till we observe shifting of cluster centers repeat step 
थ्री एंड फोर टिल शिफ्टिंग ऑफ क्लस्टर सेंटर्स आर ऑब्जर्व्ड